we're gonna see if we can go from point A to point B, then from point B to point A without touching the wheel once. And this includes, by the way, parking the car. It is unbelievable to me that I can do this in the year 2024, have the car take me five miles across 16 minutes of driving where I don't have to touch the wheel even once. Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. I am going to take the latest version of FSD here over to the Schaumburg Public Library without touching the wheel even once. I'm literally not going to do anything. I'm going to have to basically push the drive stock down once to get started, but other than that, my goal is to not touch anything. So here we go. Single tap down. The left turn signal immediately went on there is a car immediately to our right that is blocking our field of view. So what the car needs to do is creep forward, which it's sort of kind of doing right now. And there's a car that just passed and it's amazing. It actually saw that car and then that bicyclist early before I even saw them. Now it's really tough because I can't see anything to my right. The car is kind of going out a little bit and it's clear. And it goes. Look how beautiful that was. I didn't have to do a single thing there. And stopping here really nicely at the stop sign. And then we're going to be heading through some neighborhoods. And this is right during school. And it's beautiful weather here in Chicago. It's 75 degrees. My thermometer at home was saying 78 degrees for October 21st. That's really, really warm. It does get cooler throughout the week. So this is kind of like a rare situation. Turning left here, let's see if it comes to a full stop. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. There it is. There's the NHTSA stop. And it's negotiating with traffic. Let's see if they give me a sig signal. And they're not. Okay, now my car takes the cue and goes for it. Look at that. Auto negotiated with the people there at that intersection. They waited patiently for me to go. I loved that. Normally, people are... They'll, they'll basically go before you if you hesitate too much. So I'm surprised they waited that long, but it did the right thing. And thankfully it didn't get too awkward because sometimes when you're in an intersection like that, they will give you a hand gesture. I, and it makes me you know, uncomfortable because it's like, how much eye contact do you give these people when you're not really driving the car? It always <laughs> makes me anxious when, when you're in situations like that. We are gonna be turning right here. Sometimes it gets over into the bike lane a little bit. In previous versions, it would do that more, I feel, and now it's doing that a lot less. And up here, there is a school with a school zone, and it mentions that you can only go 20 miles an hour during school hours when children are present. And we're definitely gonna run into that situation here, but I believe what's going to happen is we will get kind of blocked or slowed down by other cars in front of us because right now FSD does not read those signs. And here you can see all the children on the side. My windshield has a little bit of glare on it and we have the sun coming in at crazy angles in the fall which trips up the cameras in the front and I'm hearing a lot of people complaining about that. I don't think we're going to have that happen here today, but you never know with all these trees and the sun shining through. And here we are with all of these kids. Very curious to see what happens. Sometimes you have a school bus. There's a crossing guard up here. Let's see what happens. There it is. School speed limit 20 miles per hour. We are going 29. Now the, the truck in front of us is also going faster than the speed limit. And there the sign says, on school days when children are present. So definitely applies at this moment. And here is the crossing guard and they're on the side of the street. So we're not gonna get a chance to interact with them. Going right past them, not a problem. Turning left, getting over. It's just a beautiful thing when you don't have to touch the wheel at all this really came into play with version 12.4 and i know a lot of people didn't have 12.4 right now i'm on 12.5.4.1 which is 
what most people have. And if you're new to my channel, I am driving a 2019 Model 3 with Hardware 3 and an Intel processor. I am told, or I understand through everything on X right now, Ashok posted this, that there was a bug that was fixed. So when we get 12.5.6, the graphics are gonna be a lot smoother than they are right now. Here we are going through a yellow light. Nicely done there. And I'm very curious to see, by the way, how that operates. Previously with 12.3, and prior especially, there was a little bug on the screen where it would glitch every so often. And like the elements would freeze on the screen and then everything would disappear for a split second and then it would refresh. It was almost like a buffer overload. That bug was fixed. And I don't know exactly which version fixed it because it didn't happen all the time. But I'm so thankful for that because that was very annoying. It never affected the way the car would drive but it was just very annoying to witness. Here we are, yellow light, look at this, beautifully stopping here. There was a cone there. I didn't see it kind of move out of the way for the cone, but here is where we're gonna be turning right. And you can see the pin, it's having us just basically stop outside of the parking lot, whereas before it would go inside of the parking lot. Let's see if it does that. I, I, I'm very fascinated with, with how it changed the way it comes in here. It needs to go right here. Come on. Ah, it's not going in there. It used to always go into the parking lot there. And I think what's going to happen now is it's just going to pull over here and say that we're here. Now, see, it's turning the right turn signal on. Let's see if it goes into, if I just let it go, I'm not going to touch anything. If we get lucky, it will turn right up here and then go into the library parking. Yes, it is. You can see it just rerouted. So it's gonna go up into that area. So we will have a chance to park the car. That is perfect. And it's actually gonna route us all the way around, which is beautiful. This is what we want. And now all I need to do is search for an open space and then disable it and have it auto park. And I think I see my spot right here. So what I'm gonna do is disengage right here. And now you can see the spot on the screen. I haven't touched the wheel. Select the spot and hit start. The car is gonna move forward a little bit. Beautiful, look at this. Didn't have to touch the wheel once. Let's get out, head into the library, and then I'm immediately gonna pull up the summon feature, and I'm gonna summon it as I'm leaving the library. Just as I'm about to leave my car, look, oh, I touched the wheel. Please forgive me, guys, let's not count that. That really didn't count, I promise. Okay, I just got in the car. I'm going to, without touching the wheel, because that would be cheating, I could push on the right scroll wheel and tell it where I want to go. 
but instead I'm going to use the touch screen here. Now that I have the destination dialed in, what I need to do is step on the brake pedal, push down a hard press down to put it into drive, let up on the brake pedal, and now simply single tap down. The wheel starts to move, and the car begins to take me to this destination. We're gonna see if everything goes smoothly and I don't have to do a single thing on the wheel. It is unbelievable to me that I can do this in the year 2024, have the car take me five miles across 16 minutes of driving where I don't have to touch the wheel even once. Extra caution for the cyclist there. That was really nice. It stopped, waited. It wasn't sure what his intention was, where exactly he was going to be turning. The car gave the cyclist the right of way. That's exactly what it needed to do. Interesting situation, There's, you can't really see the lights up there, they're kind of out of service. There's like two right behind the ones that are supposed to be working. The car did just fine there. It, it makes me wonder though if I didn't have a car in front of me, if it would have been able to process that correctly. Almost ran that stop sign there. That stop sign is new. Saw it at the last second, slowed down and stopped. But it was going to go straight through there. I could feel it slow down abruptly right at the end. <laughs> I'm glad it saw it there, but it should have known it was there. Hopefully it has some memory moving forward. That stop sign's been there for a month or two now. A lot of data though, I've been driving through this area a lot where that stop sign wasn't there so it's I don't think it's on the map data yet whereas you can see here that well it showed it before so the stop signs that show up and the visualizations are what the cameras can see but the map data will also show the stop signs let's see what happens here at this four-way stop technically after this it's our turn okay we're starting to creep this is what we need to do and we need to go, don't wait for that Subaru. Okay, good, steering wheel's jerking back and forth, <laughs> but it made it through there. And this final route, what's going to happen is it's going to come all the way up here to the final destination. It's gonna put its right turn signal on. We can't pull into the driveway just yet, so it's just basically going to try to go around multiple times and this is what always happens the final destination is always a little bit strange because it can't actually find the pin because it's not on the main road in previous versions it would pull over to the side of the road but right now what's going to happen is it's just going to go straight forward so what i'm going to have to do here is disable it but this is a successful drive it's pulling over now to the side of the road and from here i'm just going to push up on the right drive stalk, the turn signal is on, so if somebody comes up now behind us, they're gonna know that my car is pulled over to the side. That was a successful drive. I did not touch the steering wheel, not even once. I was very happy with that. This brings us to the conclusion of this video. Let me know what you guys thought down below in the comments. If you enjoy my videos, please hit the like button and subscribe. It goes a real long way towards supporting me. Hopefully I'll be getting 12.5.6 any day now. They mentioned that it would be released before the end of this month. And I think that was actually version 13, but I'm skeptical that we'll actually see that in October. It'd be great, but I'm not going to hold my hopes too high for that. Thanks so much for watching. See you guys in the next one.